For those who do not know, I've done quite a few Nuzlocke Pokemon runs in my day. In fact, I've pretty much played through every single main series game as a Nuzlocke or a challenge run at this point. So many of you guys have hit me up to react to Jaden Animation's most recent Platinum Nuzlocke, so let's do it. Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive, pretty guys a brand new video today, and today we are reacting to Jaden Animation's newest video, I attempted a Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. So many of you guys hit me up about this on my live streams, in my comment section, I can't get away from it. People are tweeting me like crazy because you guys loved me reacting to Jaden Animation's Nuzlocke in the past, so we gotta react to this one too. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe to my channel. I post Pokemon videos every single day, so if you're looking for someone who does Nuzlocke, Shiny Hunting, Pixelmon, everything Pokemon related, this is the place to be. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for videos every single day. And please, show some love to Jaden. Jaden's awesome, and you can find her link in the description below if you want to check out her channel in the original video as well. Big shout out to Jaden, of course. And let's have some fun. Let's react to the most recent Platinum Nuzlocke. And what's actually funny is I was about to start my own Platinum Nuzlocke in a game called Renegade Platinum. So keep your eye out on the channel. It's a harder version of Platinum. It's gonna be a lot of fun, man. I'm looking forward to that. But let's jump into the reaction. All right, here we go. I love these animations, man. They are so fun. Let's get it kicked off. So if you're new here, hi. I've done this before. Last year, I made a video about my first ever Pokemon Nuzlocke, and the game I played in it was Pokemon Ruby. It was fun, so here I am again doing another. But Teriyaki, I remember Teriyaki. I'm so excited for this, Jaden. You do such an incredible job. Let's get it. This time, I attempted to Nuzlocke Pokemon Platinum. I'll explain again super quickly how a Nuzlocke works. You can only catch the first Pokemon you run into per route. If a Pokemon faints, it dies, and you can't use it anymore. And you have to nickname your Pokemon so you grow more attached to them. Gotta do all those things. Easy peasy, Nuzlocke rules, guys. Catch the first Pokemon in each route, nickname them. If they faint, they're gone. Simple as that. If you find a shiny, you get to add that to your team too, though. If you still don't understand, that's not my problem. Let's get started. I like it. <laughs> oh boy. This was my Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. I'm so ready for this. Barry? Oh, come on. So my friend and neighbor Barry is practically dragging me all over the place with his hyperactive squirrel brain, frantically trying to get a Pokemon as soon as possible. I've never been a big fan of Gary. Love Dawn, don't like, or Barry, Barry is his name. I don't like Barry. Gary's cool, I don't like Barry. From this Professor Rowan he saw on TV. He drags me out to Route 201 and is about to leap into the tall grass when, hold it! You guys know going into the tall grass is practically a death wish, right? What don't you're do doing that. is basically suicide. Borderline insanity. What absolute moronic lunatics you are. Have you no respect for your lives? <laughs> Do you have any Pokemon? No. That's actually funny though. The, the beginning of uh, Platinum actually starts with the kind of the Lake of Rage whole thing, which is like a Johto callback with the Red Gyarados. Do you want some? Take and a Pokemon. like that, I have a Turtwig. I named oh, him Tur I'm Team Turtwig too. Let me know which starter you would choose in the comments section below. I am Team Turtwig. And immediately used him to bash in Barry's gym char. I was making my way through the routes, but right as I was about to nab the Shinx I found on 202. Don't That's so it. cute. No! <laughs> oh, the crits! So no Shinx for us. But Look at the Turtwig smiling back at her! That's all right. Shinx isn't that great this early anyway. Then I locked eyes with our first trainer. The first battle. Let's see how we fare against youngster Tristan and his level 5 Starly. Oh, oh my oh, god! Boy. So in the first trainer battle I ever fought, I almost immediately lose my starter to a critical hit. Why do I suddenly have a very bad feeling about this? Nevertheless, we kept going onward through Jubilife City where we caught Kronk the Zubat in the cave hey, above- Hey, big Zubat fan. Love me some Zubats. Great Pokemon. I'm about it. Route 204 and Magikarp on 218. Hi, Magikarp. Your name is That could is be Puppy. really good as a Just Gyarados. outside the city, Barry runs up and demands another battle, so I happily bash in his Chimchar again. And his Starly too. I kept on my way, <laughs> eventually arriving in Orberg City and nervously challenged- First gym leader is Rourke, the rock type gym leader with his Cranidos. I think she'll be okay with Turtwig alone. Rourke. I was terrified of his Cranidos, but Turt landed a crit razor leaf there and one shot it before it could even do anything. So <laughs> that's badge number one for us. I made it to Floroma Town and was really excited because if you didn't know, outside the valley. There's a, a trainer that you face at the wi Valley Windworks that is not fun. It has like a perugly. We'll see how that goes. Windworks, you can find Shellos. And if you didn't know, Again, 
I love Shellos. Blue Shellos, best Shellos. I ran straight to the grass to get my Shellos encounter. It's a weasel. And... A shink. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna pass up an encounter, so I very depressingly caught the shinx and named it Failure to vent Aww. my sadness and frustration over not getting a slug. While there, we found Team Galactic messing around, stealing electricity, You're supposed to love it. and this little girl's dad. So I beat up the grunt, guarding the door, I love, broke in. I just love the animation, her taking the turd wig and just being like, "Ugh, take that!" I I I love these Nuzlocks. Beat up the grunts in the building until Turd evolved, then found Galactic Brottle, Commander baby. Mars at the end of the corridor, who I was scared of because she's That's got a broadly. fat cat that hits like a semi-truck. But I had a plan. Back in the Orberg Mines, I caught Dwayne the Onyx, and I brought him to the fight because in case things got dicey, I would switch him in to buy time and heal up my other Pokemon. Basically, uh, Dwayne was death fodder. Turt took out Mars' Zubat, and when Perugly came out, Kronk plucked off the orange berry it was holding. But I she like got it. hit pretty hard in the process, and since Turt needed a bit of healing before he could get back into it, Dwayne can take a scratch. Look at that. Dwayne is Dwayne is fine. He's fine, guys. Don't pull the the sad nose for Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne's fine. Don't worry oh, about him. Oh, it's not gonna be fine out of this faint attack. About him. Oh my God, <laughs> dude. All right, I'll give him that. This I'll probably is actually that. really Dwayne hard to live. Somehow, when Dwayne was supposed to die, he hung in there on one HP. And you know what? I respected the hell out of him for it. I let Dwayne live and Turt was able to take out the Perugly. Like what it. a legend. But then I put him back in the box and moved on. In Mount Cornet, I caught a Bronzor I named Big Boy, which I happily- I will say Bronzor is an incredible Nuzlocke Pokemon. It's Steel and Psychic type. So it only has a handful of weaknesses and it has the abilities Heat Proof and Levitate, which can reduce one of those two weaknesses, ground or fire type moves. Very, very bulky, incredible Pokemon on Nuzlocke. Added to the team. And right before Gardenia's gym, Kronk evolved, which meant no mercy for those flower ladies. Badge number two. Yeah, that's we easy. If you have a gold badge, you just destroy in front of the Gardenia. Galactic building and ran up all the stairs where we fought Galactic Commander Jupiter. Let's take a look at how that went. Jupiter! Don't, don't crit, Oh, don't that's crit. gonna be a crit. Night Slash is a high critical hit chance move, boosted by stab on Skunk Tank. That's gonna do but, some damage, I mean, but it tanked it. That won't do. Oh, oh, he crit back. Uh, let's just. Uh, if it gets hit, hit with a poison move, though. Don't crit him. That's a crit. No. Oh my God. We All finally were able to beat her, but that fight really knocked the wind out of me. I was shaking on my way back to the Pokemon Center when this lady Cynthia shows Cynthia. up and is like, "Egg." I don't think I ever noticed that her little uh, hair thing yeah. looks like Yeah, anyway, even meeting Cynthia wasn't enough to calm my nerves. So to keep my mind off the absolute tragedy we narrowly avoided, I decided to start training up Big Boy on Cycling Road. And then he died. Oh. I've practiced this game and- Crit. So before you push up your anime glasses and tell me that steel is weak to fire, which I know, by the way, the reason I kept Big Boy in was because not only is his defense an iron wall, but he had heat proof, which negates his fire weakness. But then he got crit. So, first step. I'm sorry, Big Boy. You never had the opportunity to become a Big Boy. I walked into Wayward Cave and found a Gibble. Gibble is an amazing- That is ridiculous. So Gibble can actually be found under the cycling path it is a very rare encounter. That is clutch though. You can't get much better than that. At this point of the game, you, you can't get better than that. Amazing Pokemon. It turns into Garchomp, which is easily one of, if not the strongest Pokemon in the game that isn't a legendary. Adding it to the team would give us such a huge advantage. And now there is nothing in my way between that and- No! That hurt. That hurt my soul a little bit. Oh. And we're moving on. We arrived in Heart Home City oh. where I caught DeVito the Ralts, Kronk and Puppy evolved. We had a clean win against Fentina and some lady gave us an Eevee I named Milk. Things were starting to look better now. I was Oof. leveling up DeVito against trainers and when fighting this lovey dovey couple. Uh, let's go into Puppy. Get rid of the buizel. Uh, oh, pursue no. and it's not a fairy in this game. So DeVito in the newer games would be psychic and fairy typing, which is neutral to dark. Pursuit has double damage when you switch out. It's actually not even in Sword and Shield. So it's gonna do 80 base power, super effective. See you later. Ouch. You're kidding, you're kidding. And that's why I hate love. 
In came Shrimp the Scyther I caught on Route 210. Some good news. On Route 213, I finally found a Shellos. I named it Squoop, and Ooh, I Shellos loved best it. Shellos. I loved it so much. I know you're not supposed to have a favorite child, but Squoop was my favorite child, and I wasn't apologetic about it. I trained it up, and now we got a Gastrodon. Turt ended up evolving, too. too. So together with Kronk and Squoop, Maylene was defeated, and badge number four was secured. Crobat, Outside yeah, of Pastoria Maylene. City, I caught a Quagsire named Lol. But when I went to get my Great Marsh encounter, I was trying to get a Yanma and accidentally threw a ball at a whooper. So now we've got lol and oops. Normally in a Nuzlocke, you would have what's called a dupes clause or duplicate clause, where if you found the same Pokemon twice, you would ignore that encounter and get another one. The original Nuzlocke rules were not that. In fact, I think Locke's first ever playthrough, he had multiple Puchianas, but most content creators like myself will generally do the dupes clause and species clause in this case, and we wouldn't catch a second whooper. I would do another encounter in the box. Then I swept Crasher Wake with Milk, who is now a Jolteon. With oh, the went with Jolteon. Interesting play on that one. Jolteon on a Nuzlocke is very frail. You have to remember that Jolteon is, is, is a very fast, relatively offensive electric type Pokemon. Only one weakness though, but very frail. I generally on a Nuzlocke would have went Umbreon, maybe Vaporeon, although it already has a Gyarados. Still cool, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't have went Jolteon, but we'll see how it plays out. I walked out of the gym and... Team Galactic set off a bomb. I ran down the grunt who detonated it and took him out because he is weak. Cynthia appears again and tells me to bring a charm to her grandma. So I'm like, yes, ma'am. We found her in Celestial Town along with Cyrus, the leader of Team Galactic, who starts some evil Shakespeare speech about how everything is imperfect. So he's got to blow up the world or something. I like it. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. And then he wanted to fight. Puppy took out his Sneasel and I sent out Milk to take care of his Golbat. But Milk decided he wanted to be lazy and not only miss all his Thunders, Oof. but also punch himself in the face. Thunder's a 70% accurate move. So, pretty decent chance Milk. to miss. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's dead. Is it toxic poison or regular poison? You can't. You can't be doing this. Kronk came out and killed the Golbat because Milk was being difficult. Lucky it didn't get but I gave him a second chance and he took out the Murkrow. Anyway, here's your dusty charm. I went out and caught a Magnemite named C, then arrived in Canalave City where we barged into Byron's gym and demolished his team with oh, Scoop yeah. and Turd. Then Team Galactic sets off another bomb, this time at Lake Valor. So Barry, Professor Rowan's assistant Lucas, and I split up to check on the lakes. As I'm strolling past all the flopping Magikarp, I run into Galactic Commander Saturn, who we swept the floor with. After that, we headed over to Lake Verity where we did the exact same with Mars. There was a part where Turt got crit and almost died. Oh god. Oh god. But we're fine. He's a lot fine. Of crits. Finally, we had to go check up on Barry at Lake Acuity. And after trekking through six feet of snow for like a mile, we get there to find Barry at the top of a cliff. Like, ha ha ha, you can't climb rock. I gotta say, watching this has been like perfect timing. Because as I said at the beginning of this video, I'm legitimately about to start a new playthrough on the channel for, for the holiday, like Christmas and stuff, doing Renegade Platinum. So this is a nice, like, little refresher for me. I like it. Come back when you can climb rocks, loser. I'll go fight Candace's gym now, I guess. Now, we've been having some good type matchups with the past Ooh. few gyms. That's a good point. Her team is not very good against Candace's gym. Uh, I don't think Freeze Dry exists in this game. Freeze Dry would make it really bad, but she's gonna need to probably get some other stuff. So I haven't really been nervous about most of them, but Candace uses ice types, which like half my team is weak against, which, you know, Nervousness rising. Not only was I at a massive type disadvantage, when but the main threats on her team were her Obama Snow because it hits like a truck and sets up hail, and her Frostlass because it'll use the hail from the Obama Snow to heighten its evasiveness with Snow Cloak, spam snow cloak, double yeah. teams, and then just sweep my team. I walked in, took a deep breath, which didn't make me feel better at all, and started <laughs> the battle. Shrimp took out her Sneasel and Swoop took out her Pilot. I, I, how, I'm, I'm sorry, Jaden. How do you get a scissor and not mention that at any point? Unless I fell asleep for a second. Scissor is so epic. A swine, almost dying in the process. And then she finally brought out the big scissor bad Scissor should be able to sweep snow. the whole Since gym, it's though. grass ice type, I taught Puppy Fire Blast. Yeah, I didn't know we could... Anyway, I wasn't sure Gerardo if it one shot because learns a lot Puppy's of special not attacks. a special attacker. And lo and behold, it didn't. It, 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 it didn't miss. Please kill it, please. It's Before we find out what happens here, I just want to make a note that I love sprites in Pokemon, sometimes more than the 3D models. Abomasnow looks so epic in that sprite, but the current 3D models, it just looks like very like, bleh. No way! Eventually Puppy took it out, but that was absolutely terrifying. I can't Last believe Last but not that. least, 
Frost Lass. I wanted to have Swoop rain dance to get rid of the hail so Frost Lass's snow cloak isn't activated, but since Swoop was sitting at a not so chill 20 HP, uh. that wasn't gonna work out super great. However, since I didn't want Kronk to be in this fight at all, right before the fight, I swapped her with Failure the Shinx. Yep. Oh, uh, gonna sack it Sorry, off? Sorry, little guy. Failure looked up at the looming death that was Frostlass in front of her. And Poor as failure. I healed up Swoop, Failure was killed in its blizzard. It's really unfortunate we had to resort to it, but I give Failure a salute for stepping up and surrendering its life to the team. <laughs> Swoop came out, got off the rain dance, and after a close battle, was able to pull through. We won, but it wasn't without sacrifice. We had a moment of silence for Failure, the true MVP <laughs> of the fight. Gone, but not forgotten. Now we could climb the rocks to Lake Acuity, and when we got up there, Barry's got snot dripping down his face, Ugh. crying in the snow because he got beat up by Jupiter, who looks at me and is like, See ya, I'm going to Veilstone HQ. <laughs> He's just on the ground crying. Um... Uh, I'm gonna go to Veilstone. We start running through the base trying to find Cyrus, but when fighting this scientist... Psychic. Oh boy. That shouldn't KO, though. Porygon 2 freaks me out. It is way too powerful, way too bulky. It's going to crit now. And try it's attack way crit. Too try attack probably KO. Psyche didn't, but try attack probably would. I do like Porygon 2, Oh, though. it's going to crit. It's got to crit. I would like a plush of Porygon 2. Very cute. Yep. What? 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 So in the new games, crits do 1.5% damage or 1.5 times damage, 50% boost. In the older games, it's double damage, so. No! Not sure it mattered there, though. No! Scoop! We lost Scoop! I wasn't okay. Kurt came out and curb stomped the Porygon 2 out of vengeance, but to put it lightly, I wasn't taking that too well. My heart is breaking. I'm like actually sad. <laughs> but life doesn't stop when your dog dies, so I had to keep trucking and brought Law the Quagsire to the team. With an intense blood curdling thirst Water for ground. revenge, I stormed into Cyrus's room. Fight! Shrimp and Milk took out his team in no time. I snatched his master ball and used his teleport pad to enter the basement where Mess Spirit, Azelf, and Yuxi are all being held captive. Fight! And like Cyrus, Saturn was swept too. After releasing the late guardians, we head to Mount Cornet because Cyrus wants to go there and destroy the planet, I think. And we catch up to him at the Spear Pillar. Before we can run up and attack him, Mars and Jupiter step in. Then Barry arrives. Honestly, I have no idea how he found us all here. And is like, I'll help. Lol takes <laughs> out both the Bronzers, Mars is Prugly, and Barry's Munchlax. So I thought, you know, it was all smooth sailing, right? Well... Oh, wearing. missed an iron tail. Really the doing bite. a lot for the team, aren't you? Flinch. Oh! Oh my god, no, it has Giga Drain? Oof. No. That's four times super effective. I feel like it lives, no. though. No, oh no, oh no. No, nope. it, it was a crit. crit. Not only did I not know their goal, but it had Giga Drain for some reason, but it also got a crit. So I was starting to feel bad. I think if it wasn't a crit, I think the quag actually probably lives it, but the crit, not even close. But then I started panicking. The thing is, after you fight Mars and Jupiter, you have to go into the distortion world and fight Cyrus and Giratina. If Cynthia forces us into the distortion world without us being able to get a new member, we're in massive trouble. We finished up the battle and Cyrus starts his whole spiel about how the world isn't perfect, blah, blah, blah. Everything must die except for me. Then he gets swallowed up by Giratina. A hole opens a rip in space leading to the distortion world. And I'm kind of just standing off to the side, twiddling my thumbs like, Cynthia, <laughs> please don't shove me in there without my consent. Cynthia, can I, can I go? I have something to do. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? No, I'm not. Let me go! I'm free! <laughs> Holy crap. Let Get me out of here. Goodbye. I'm sorry, lol. We just got you, and then you died. But luckily, remember when I accidentally caught that whooper while trying to Bring get a it Yama? Back. It's time, oops. You are no accident. You're our lucky star who will carry us to victory. That's we got oops leveled up, came back to the spear pillar where His Cynthia was just oops. sitting there waiting for us, and hopped in. Everything is topsy-turvy and the late guardians are telling me to push boulders into holes. And suddenly I'm on a floating crest of land with Cynthia, who's basically like, Cyrus, get lost and never come back. And Cyrus didn't like that. 
so he came at me. Oops took out his Houndoom and his Gyarados came out, so I switched to Milk. But I was very terrified because Cyrus's Gyarados has Earthquake. So if Milk misses his Thunder here, he dies. And Milk is notorious for missing his Thunders. But it hit. Milk Oof. lives another day. He also took out Cyrus's Crobat and Thunderbolt. Crow, and Shrimp finished up his Weavile. Cyrus steps aside, and suddenly it's just me and the Angel of Darkness itself. You got Master Ball? Giratina. This is kind of trippy. Master balled it. I Do threw it. the master ball, and like that, it was over. I saved the world. Now to get back to my gym badges. I arrived at Sunny Shore City and started making my way through Volkner's gym. I know he's the eighth gym leader and he's supposed to be tough and apparently he's depressed because everyone who challenges him isn't good enough and he's bored. But I wasn't concerned. We have oops Quacks and none so of his good. Pokemon can do anything about it. It's not like they have Giga Drain or anything, right? They didn't, I checked. Oops was just earthquake and everything. And at the end, I'll admit, I got a bit scared. Okay, don't crit. Oh, Giga Impact. If you crit Giga Impact, that would be really in. Holy. <sighs> but it's all good. We're all good. And with that, off to Victory Road we went, <laughs> where we caught ourselves a Gabite I named Flakes. Would have been nice to have one, I don't know, near the beginning of the game, so <laughs> in Wayward Cave, you know. But whatever. Better late than never. It's good to have just in case something goes horribly wrong out of nowhere. Ooh, Crit Raybird? Flakes is base 60. Yeah, it is. It's an amazing, yeah. whoa, 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 no! How quickly the tide turns. You're kidding. Womp womp. Ouch. That's oh, a good dear. Pokemon too. And Gyarados is so good. that's the straw that broke the camel's back. After Puppy died, I stepped back and decided the team we go into the Elite Four with needs to be the best possible team we can build. The One of the things about Nuzlocke's too that you'll find is like, as one member goes down, it's like dominoes falling. Like you could really, really lose a Nuzlocke super quick with just one member of your team going down if that team is like a crucial piece to kind of solving the type triangles. Elite four here goes pretty hard. So I couldn't go in willy nilly just hoping for the best. After literally a few hours of calculations and research, I settled on a team I thought would give us the highest possibility of winning. I added Flakes to the team in place of Puppy and with a heavy heart, left Milk and Kronk behind as I brought C the now Magnezone and Colgate the Togekiss I hatched from the eggs Cynthia gave me. Even though I was sad to not bring Milk and Kronk into the final battles with us, they won't be forgotten. And it doesn't negate the fact they were such huge assets to the team, and you I wouldn't have made it this far lock. without them. I'll see you guys on the other side. I took a step towards the doors of no return, and immediately got interrupted by Barry, <laughs> who wanted to have one last fight. Anyway. Three minutes later. Welcome. This is the By the way, shout out to this guy. This is the only Elite Four bug type trainer ever. Elite Four. The battle starts and C takes out Aaron Zeon, Mega, and Vespiquin. Oops takes out his Rapion, and Colgate takes out his Scissor and Heracross. Next up is Bertha. <laughs> Bertha loves ground types, but Turt and Oops had a smooth time smashing through her team. I felt a horrible shiver when her Rhyperior came out, but things went well. On to Flint. This like alternate plot of Giratina like taking over right now is kind of dope, I'm not gonna lie. Flint has a pretty scary team, but luckily Oops and Flakes had no trouble plowing through them as well. And with that, we're on to the last member, Lucian. Now, Shrimp hasn't had much time to shine in these fights so far, so I decided I wanted to let her go all out. She set up sword stances and bullet punched everything. Proud of you, Shrimp. And suddenly, I'm at the entrance to the champion. Damn. The trainer who's been known to crush dreams in a single- A lot of people look at Cynthia as being the most powerful champion of all time. 
I actually think it was Leon, by the way, in Sword and Shield. But Cynthia is very good, so we're gonna find out. She's got her guard shop, she's got a gash on, she's got a lot of things that Jaden actually has as well on her team. Battle, and many still fear to this day. I took a deep breath. Things are going Melodic too, I think. Melodic well. Spear Tomb. She's got a really cool team. I don't know how to feel about it. But I looked up. I think Leon's better. And there she was. At this Unpopular moment, opinion. I have only one last objective defeat Cynthia. She leads with Spirit Tomb, which has no weaknesses, so I sent out Turt to hit it as hard as possible. Flakes takes out her Togekiss, and then her Garchomp comes out. This is known to be one of the toughest boss Pokemon in the entire franchise, and rightfully so. That thing was made by Satan himself, and I'm sure even he fears what he has created. I immediately switch to Oops, who's the only Pokemon that can lead us to victory I love here. I planned to put it to sleep with Yawn, and then Ice Beam it until it died. That was our only I hope. I just Ice Beamed. But then, oops, is crit. And that was it. Nothing on my team can take a hit from this monster. And even if they could, they couldn't do much damage back. I sat there in disbelief, knowing there wasn't anything I could have done. And the battle is basically unwinnable now. I brought out Shrimp to bullet punch it so we could get in a little bit of damage, but she was killed. Colgate tried to chip away at it. He did some damage too, but was crit one shot. At this point, I'd accepted defeat. Only Turt, C, and Flakes were left. It's hopeless at this point. Flakes came out, and against all odds, Flakes outsped Cynthia's Garchomp. Wow. And killed it. I didn't think he could do it. He was two levels weaker, and I just, I, I, I don't know. I, did, I just didn't think. I wonder what its speed, if it had a speed boosting nature, like Jolly or Timid or something like that, or if it just got a lot of speed EVs as it played through. That's pretty crazy. I think he could outspeed it. Suddenly, there was a chance. We could win this after all. Cynthia brings out her Milotic, which C took out with a few Thunderbolts. Flakes took out the Lucario with Dig. Look, my Earthquake TM is on Squoop, and we all know what happened there. Finally, her last Pokemon comes out. Roserade. Flakes went in for the Dragon Claw, and the battle was over. Hey! We won. As Cynthia is congratulating me, a sudden feeling of overwhelming guilt washes over my entire body, so intense it almost knocks me down. I don't think I deserve this. Something here isn't right. This wasn't meant for me. Back in the distortion world when Giratina split me in two, how do I know I'm me? What happened in the other timeline where I saw glimpses of what happened parallel to this world, that was me too. Those things happened. Was that the ending I'm destined to have? The world I'm living in now is how I want things to be, but the other Jaden is equally me as I am her. Even if you might think I deserve this dimension, things don't work like that. Are there some things you can't escape, even when you try everything you can do to alter it? I don't know the answer. I may be able to sit on this throne now and thank all the Pokemon that put in everything to help me get here. All the hard work, blood, sacrifices we made, but I don't think I can ever accept this victory. I don't know what ending was meant for me, and I don't think I ever will. Love that video. Talk about incredible. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to Jaden Animations. I attempted a Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button down below and don't forget I upload Pokemon videos here every single day. So if you're looking for a place to watch some awesome Pokemon content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for my Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke series that I'm gonna be starting very, very soon. In fact, maybe even the day after this goes up, if all goes well. We're gonna have some fun playing through Renegade Platinum, which is what's called a Drayano hack. It's a harder version of Pokemon Platinum, customized for difficulty and Nuzlocke, man. It's gonna be so stoked. It's gonna be so, so hyped up. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm very much so looking forward to it. Thank you again, Jaden, for the incredible video, the incredible animation. Go show some love to Jaden's channel. Be sure to watch the original video, like it, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. If you guys enjoyed this reaction video, you should check out this one right here. Otherwise, this video is pretty awesome too. Make sure you guys subscribe and check out one of these videos. Have yourself a great day.